Even though the show drew a smaller audience, the format proved attractive to cooler and not always appropriate guests. Iggy Pop mimed um, some kind of act with uh, a large teddy bear that, was, that happened to be lying around. And after that, he found it very difficult to get bookings on British TV. Obviously, his reputation was enhanced, if anything, but in terms of getting publicity, that, that hampered him for quite a while. While Iggy was giving a teddy a big surprise, over on BBC One, Superstore was also having its fair share of controversy. Simon Roberts on the line. Hello, Simon. Hello. You're through to Matt Bianco. Hello, Matt Bianco. Oh, hey, Simon. <laughs> You're a bunch of wankers. <laughs> Hello? He's gone. Simon Roberts is on the line. Hello, Simon. <laughs> it's better the fact that they were sworn out on BBC because it made it more exciting. I think if somebody had told a pop star to fuck off on ITV, especially on Tiswas, nobody would have batted an eyelid. But because it was on BBC, it was more exciting. Elliot, what's your question? I'd like to ask five star whether so fucking crap, they're fucking... Thanks very much, Elliot. Nice Bye. to hear from you. I'm there is a part of you back here that goes, this is going to get in the press, it's, gonna, it's not going to do us any harm at all, actually. And as long as parents don't feel too badly that we've just let that one slip through and we'll move on and we'll redress the balance, it'll be fine. Morning, Captain. Hello. It's been asleep. No, it's not been sensible, have you, Tom? It's been cleaning the toilets down in, down in the basement. <laughs> and they do enough smell. Really? Yeah, it's oh, terrible. That's good. A couple of times I've been put, asked to come down from the gallery to come and talk to a pop star to assess, you know, how they are and say good morning to them. This is the star that's prize. Right, that's right, the star prize. The wrong way around. Here we go. The plaque's the other side, The Captain. other side. That's right. There were times when you knew that someone had come in and they were completely, completely and utterly rat assed. You've got to have a dream if you don't have a dream. Oh, where's your guitar, Mike? In most cases, with sufficient cups of coffee and perhaps delaying their appearance by a little bit, we got them in a fit state. On there. And again, the record pluggers would be very helpful in this. They, the record pluggers always said they'd got a cold. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs>